एक ओंकार सतगुरु प्रसाद वेलकम बैक टू अंधक दिस इज 13 जुलाई 2024 8:12 ट्वेंटी पी एम एंड इन डे फोर ऑफ स्ट्रगलिंग टू मेक एन आफ्टर फेक्स एक्सटेंशन देर इज एंट अ लॉट ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंट प्रोग्रेस दर हैव मेड बट देर इज स्टिल वन लिटल थिंग दर आई डेट सो आई वॉन्ट डॉक्यूमेंट दैट सो आई एम जस्ट गन रीड एवरी थिंग योर सो गन आइडिया ऑफ वेयर वी आर एट इन our extension and i'm going to refresh this so everything is off so from the previous time i have added this one div here which is the subtext and then i have combined and i have a count new checkbox layer and then the create button so what is the main advancements what is the main advancement that i want to discuss in this video is if any of these input boxes is empty that means it has a null value i want my function set after fix extended so jsx to still work like they normally would so for example if my main text was 30 and i had a suffix of plus and i wanted to create separate text layers and i had create i should get 30 and plus here and i want them to be arranged like i showed in the previous video let me make this a little bigger now delete these and create again this hey hello just ignore it it's just a check at the moment as going a little too far which we will tweak in some time okay that works if i have a rupee sign here and i say create so we're getting three separate text layers and they are displaced hmm for some reason plus is getting displaced a little more than it should cuz even if we were doing our logic they should come like here but it's going there yeah so the suffix text is getting displaced a little more that's not what the point is my point of this this video is if i don't have any input here and i say create i will still get rupee and 30 okay and if i have to make a combine this thing and with some sub text like say 30 plus yours let me make this null and i combine and create then yours will come down here which is something i have to do like arranging it here but 30 plus is going to be a single text layer so we get two text layers so how do we do this is actually pretty straightforward so i'm going to come in here and we're going to start with jsx straight away so what is happening is i'll have to show a little bit of js so inside javascript create text button this button when i hit this button we have an event listener for click we call a function firstly we check this function here check active comp if there is a an active comp if there is no active comp which means this is false we straight away give a message box of uh um, no like no active composition so if i have nothing no active comp and i hit create i will get no active composition as a message box inside my extension so that's for that but if there is an active comp and then we do which is then the else by the way then if there is an active comp we check for this value the combine value if this is one then we create the combine when we when we run the combine text function and when that is else which is which means this is not checked in that case we run the cs interface create separate text function so create separate text is what i'm concerned with so if i come in here and let me just close this so in in my jsx file if i come in here and I look at create combine text no create separate text so what is happening here is this something we discussed in the last video so i'm not going to go about discussing why this is happening the main problem where i was stuck is I, when i was calling this function this dot arrange text layers with prefix main text and suffix text it was not working when one of them was null okay we defined it to be null so why that was the case if you go to arrange text layers function what is happening here is it's a function which takes in three parameters and then we define the width of each so prefix text layer main text layer and suffix text layer to be zero to begin with and these positions to be zero to begin with now we have added this if condition here which says if ptl is not equal to equal to null then ptl rect is this dot layer source rect props pt1 so layer source rect props is basically a general function which is going to return an array of the width height left top so 0 1 2 3 for the layer we are calling it for the ptl layer and with ptl is the first parameter so width and position is this layer layer position which is only returning the position layer of the layer that we are running as a parameter into it only if ptl is not equal to null so when ptl is null which is this case we just 
ignore this and we run here okay if mtl is not equal to null then we do the same thing if stl is not equal then we do the same thing and then again for new position we say calculate if ptl is not equal to null and mtl is not equal to null only then do this so we we saw that there was some problem with the suffix text layer right in separate so what's happening is if i delete this and 30 plus and i want to make separate layers so if i say create plus is getting pushed a little further so if stl is not equal to null and mtl is not equal to null arrange the sts position of stl which is this layer dot position stl which this dot layer position stl and stl this dot layer position is the position value and we are creating all of them in the center of the composition so st is this one suffix text layer center position so uh, theoretically when we say arranged st is position dot stl this should be the center of the comp should be like right over here this plus width of a main text layer divided by 2 plus width of suffix text layer and width of suffix text layer is stl rect aha uh -huh. you see when i'm calling this stl rect as this layer says it pop i have to call stl here and not mtl <sighs> so we could live debug a problem here let me just save this and i don't think this will work just like that because the dom will have to be reloaded and if i refresh and i see 30 what 30 plus and i say create separate text layers you see it's still going there so for that i have to close this and i have to reload the dom extensions simple super and now if i say 30 plus and i hit create yep it is correctly placed and it's very versatile you can do it only with 30 as well so there will be no re re rearranging happening i can do it with this with all of them I think I can remove that hey now this is what defug and I can also combine all of them so I get one text layer okay so this was the final kind of um, building block for this extension because now everything is set in place and now I can from next video onwards start adding functionality into this uh, extension functionality as in obviously I want it to be a number counter so up until now i've only gone to a position where inputs are going in and text layers are forming either combined or separate now this entire checkbox functionality is yet to be done so when i check that i will get a an in to out text box so if i want to go from 0 to 30 or any other number it will automatically add a slider to this and that slider will be animated like keyframe going from 0 to 30 there'll be a duration for in how much frames you want that to happen and stuff like that that would be one the other thing would be i made a video yesterday with a lot of struggle on like basic text animators so i want to have an integration of basic text animators right inside of simple super so i'm really looking forward to how that will pan out because if what i'm envisioning i'm able to pull off with this extension it'll be super super helpful so we're, we're gonna surely document that as well one last thing that i want to document today is something that i learned which is again so beautiful about vs code is if you want to let's say you've written this okay ptlm and you want to do the same thing for mtl and stl you do shift alt bring this down so and alt this up and down so again let me do that again so what you do is you say shift alt and the down arrow key would copy that code down and then with alt down arrow or up arrow you can take that block up and down now what you can do is if in all these instances you want to replace ptl with ktl or something else but you want to stay within this range only you do Control h that brings up the find and replace and then you press alt l so what this does is it presses this thing here find in selection alt l so only in this selection things will be replaced i want to replace all instances of mptl with ktl and if you do alt control enter that will replace all of the ptls with ktl so 
again is just a very control shift k to delete that it's just a very powerful way of working with complex code and complex blocks of code that's why i love vs code so much thanks so much for being in the code i will catch you in the next video peace wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh